But what we discovered is actually that reliable communication is not all about making reliable communication paths, but also to actually communicate everything reliable. And I prepared a small video I'm going to show. And what you can see in this movie is actually that we place two radio beacons right next. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to step over here again. Um, what you can see in the movie is basically we have placed two beacon nodes on each side of the door and the guy moving around is reflected actually in the icons next to the um, in the screen on the left corner. And as he moves you actually can see again, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think I, I, I leave it running and I, I try to explain it. Mobile devices have become an integral part of our lives. However, their use can lead to embarrassing or even dangerous situations, which sometimes can have severe consequences. Context and activity recognition can help to prevent such incidents. The ActiveSurf app can automatically switch your phone profile or set your waste status in a messenger application based on the context the app infers from the data of the acceleration sensors native to the phone. ActiveSurf follows a modular approach. This makes the system flexible, extensible, robust and energy efficient. The acceleration feature vectors are passed to a classification module. ActiveSurf uses recurrent fuzzy inference systems or RFIS as mapping function. The recurrence stabilizes and improves the mapping accuracy. In the fuzzy classification process, a class identifier is assigned to the output of the office and a reliability measure is calculated. This tuple is the output of the classification module. The reliability measure provides a unique advantage to further improve the recognition. Some of the incorrect classifications can be sorted out by filtering, reducing the amount of false positives and false negatives. When performing activity recognition on mobile phones, a system needs to be adaptable to certain changes that lead to deviating sensor data patterns. Since in many cases these changes are only temporary, an adaptation technique that preserves the original mapping capabilities is needed. ActiSurf employs a novel bit vector masking for this purpose, which switches the dimensions of each rule of the RFIS on or off. The key feature of ActiSurf is its modular classification process. Multiple of the described classification modules are arranged in a dynamic queue and only one of these modules is active at each point in time. While an activity is successfully classified by a module, that module remains active and first in queue. When a module cannot classify a feature vector anymore, the next module in queue is activated until a module is found that can classify the vector again. This module then becomes first in queue. The idea behind this reorganization is that successive modules correspond to successive activities. The fact that only one module is active at each point in time greatly contributes to energy efficiency. Another benefit of the modular approach is that faulty or badly performing modules can easily be swapped. A collection of modules is stored on a server. This is also where the training takes place. The training data is recorded on the mobile phone of the individual users and is transmitted to a database. The Global Trainer Service, or GTS, randomly selects different combinations of this user data. Supervised learning is then used to train the modules. If certain accuracy demands are met for training and check data, the module is stored in the database. These steps are constantly repeated so that absolute modules are sorted out and better performing ones are kept. The personal trainer service can pass user feedback to the GTS and request that a new module is trained if no better performing one can be found. After downloading and installing ActiSurf, a set of standard activities can directly be recognized with average accuracy. In order to improve this, the user personalizes the recognition system by performing each of the activities such as standing, sitting, walking or running for 2-3 to three minutes.
After this one-time personalization step, an appropriate bit vector is transmitted to the phone and ActiServe recognizes the trained activities with high accuracy. The resulting contact information can then be used for various applications, such as automatically switching the phone profile of a user. Overall, increase of 97.3%. Um, we use the filter threshold of 0.75%. Um, so, as in comparison, we have the other. Yeah, I forgot to switch it off again. But luckily, I downloaded this app. It switched my phone profile and saved my ass. Sounds really nice. I would like to try that. Oh, no problem. They have it for your phone too. Just download it and you can personalize it whenever you have the time. But it might be a good idea since you're here with your bike to add the activity cycling directly. It's safer. Take it from me. So, I'll do it right now. In order to add a new activity, the user can either download and personalize an existing classifier module from the ActiServe database or add a new module. When creating a new module, the activity has to be performed a bit longer compared to personalization. to adjust the user's profile. Hi, I just want to call me. I was riding my bike. Mm -hmm, yeah. And you? 